everyone, welcome back. My name is Cassandra and if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button because on this channel we try to share new inspiration and DIYs on a budget. So as you see in the title, what we're going to do today is we're going to make another gnome. Except this one, I want to go all the way through. I want to make sure I'm making the legs and the arms so that you can actually fit your gnome into the shoes that I've actually been creating. Hopefully you've been creating those as well. So it's just going to be a simple gnome. Now with this, I like to add rice at the bottom. I would say about a cup to a half a cup, depending on the size of gnome you're wanting, just to add a little extra weight. The rest of the gnome body, we're just going to add a little bit of polyfill, or as you see here, an old ripped up pillow that I wasn't going to use anyway, so put it to use. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. Just keep in mind the size of shoe that you are wanting them to fit, whether it's the shoe or the boot. For him or her, well, it's kind of a him, I wanted him to actually fit into the first shoes that I made. Okay, now when you have the size of the body that you would like, use a rubber band, that's fine, but I would always go back in with some kind of twine or something to actually tie it off in a couple knots to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I also like to go back in with hot glue after I cut the top to even make sure it's even a little bit more secure. And I'm sorry if my voice is a little kind of wonky. I actually had lost my voice for three days and it's starting to come back. So I'm like, I got to get this video out while I still have a voice before I may lose it again. Okay, so this is where we're going to use our felt. So I just took kind of a flesh colored felt, actually it was the only one I had on hand left, and I took a little ball, those are one of those little foam balls that you get from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to wrap it around. I will glue the inside once I'm sure that it fits, just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and secure. I guess I wasn't in frame here, but all I was doing was just tightly securing it around and then adding another rubber band before I add a little bit of twine. When I'm cutting my fur, Make sure that you are using a razor or a X-Acto knife. Please don't use scissors. Um, you're not going to get the results that you want. Now, I like to put his body halfway down, especially when I'm doing ones with legs. That way it's not covering the legs all the way up. And I cut it kind of a, about an inch and a half um, from the top, and I cut it all the way down into like a U-shaped or a V-shape. Just make sure you're pulling the fur apart and not like just cutting through it. Only cut through the back side. Stop when you see that fur. One thing I like to do is I like to put the fur up under the nose so I can get a good judge as to where I need to put my next little slice. I cut out a little V so that it fits snug right under the nose.
Okay, so for this part, I actually somehow lost the clip, so I just grabbed the same thing I used to make the hat. I found this at Dollar Tree. It's the little skirt that goes under the little mini trees. And I'm just going to cut kind of like a triangle or a pie shaped. From here, we're going to actually use that as kind of a guideline and then just go around it just a little bit further up. Give yourself a little bit more room around the edges. As you can see, this is not the actual pattern that I used for my little gnome hat, but I wanted to make sure you had a video. So you're just going to glue the two pieces together and then you're going to roll it up in a cone shape and then of course glue down the back side. Okay, so now we're on to making arms. Now all I've done was I've cut out two little pieces. They're identical in size, um, kind of like a rectangle. Now there's an easier way to do this, but at the time of me doing the video, I was just doing kind of how I've always done it. So I put a bead of glue down the middle of the strip and then I add the polyfill or, you know, whatever you have that you're stuffing it with. And then you roll it kind of like a little burrito and then you glue the end. Now, one thing that could be another option are the little rollers that you see at Dollar Tree. Um, and they're actually what I'm going to use for the legs. But you can get the small thin ones and actually use those and then wrap the fabric around that. Now, that would have been so much easier than what I did. But hey, you live and you learn and you wouldn't know what to use until, you, you know, you make a couple mistakes along the way. So I'm just going to give you this option and then tell you the other option. So as you can see, I'm kind of rolling and pressing down so that I make sure that it actually stays secure, rolling and pressing. The more you do of these, the better you'll get. Okay, so a simple way to kind of add kind of little mittens on them. What I did was I just took the little arm, I cut out a little bit of felt, but I used one of those little uh, wood beads, and you just want to make sure you have the same size, of course, for each arm. And you just cut out a little square, and then you add the glue to the wood bead and wrap it around.
you see once you've attached it go ahead and add either a little rubber band to hold it in place and then I of course will go back in with the twine now you can pick um, something that's more decorative that's fine um, I just wanted to make sure it kind of went with it because it will be showing and I went back in and secured it before I cut off the excess So as you see, there are a couple different ways that you can actually place your arms. You can put it under the hat where it's coming from there. I've seen those. You can attach it to the side where it's coming more out. But I personally like to take a slit out of the faux fur and then actually push it up in there to where you actually can't see where the back of the arm is. I like the way it looks. I just think it looks a little bit better that way. But I have done it all different ways. So it's personally your preference. When you're done placing them, just make sure you put a nice amount of glue so that they stay in place. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I like to make legs. So what I've done is I've taken a little dowel rod I've cut it in half and then just made sure both sides of the legs are going to be even. And these are the rollers that I was talking about from Dollar Tree. They come, I think, six in a pack and they come in all different sizes. So you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. I just like the way that it kind of makes it a little bit bigger and kind of a little bit more chunkier. So I just take it, put a little bit of glue on the stick. And then I wrap the rollers around. I take one smaller size and one a little bit chunkier. And I just do the same thing for both sides. Add the glue and make sure it's nice and firm in place before I add the next step. Okay, so once you got it the nice size and thickness that you want, go ahead and put a little bit of glue across whatever felt color that you're wanting to use. Now I got these rolls at Dollar Tree. It's actually my first time seeing them and they're really long. They're a little thin but for the project that I'm doing right here it's perfect. So I went ahead and I just wrapped it around about two times because I didn't want the rollers to kind of see through because I am wrapping them a little bit tighter. Um, and then once you get a good wrap and you you're at the desired thickness, go ahead and cut the length and then up the side and then of course add another bead of glue and finish it off.
So now would be a good time to add your shoes and make sure um, that they are even on both sides. You know, like they're not going to be a little bit off. Um, I put polyfill in the bottom of my shoes just to kind of get it to the desired height that I wanted. But I ended up saying it was a little too, too much and it was going to be a little too high. So then I went and I grabbed another piece of felt. I cut it out and I just folded it in half since it is a little bit thinner since it's from Dollar Tree. It still works though. Um, you cut a little strip out and then I'm going to actually add this to the top of my little legs before I add my body. I think it kind of just helps stabilizes it. It's pretty simple. Um, I think I can probably show you better, better than I can actually explain it. I'll just add a little bit of more glue, a nice, actually generous amount, and then go ahead and add your gnome to the little legs. Make sure you hold it in place so that you know that the glue is completely dried before you let go. Okay, y'all, so there's my little gnome in his little matching boots. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting, y'all.